Okay, here's a quick tutorial on how to get the perfect blanket fade. Um, this one is actually okay. I just don't like the striations in it, and you can kind of see there are some um, there's some banding going on as well as some yellow in places I don't want yellow. So, I've already done a little bit of editing on this. Um, I'm going to come over here and with my brush tool, I'm going to hold down Alt and I'm going to select a color close to here, wherever you want your fade to be. You want to pick the area that, um, the color that's close to where it's going to be hardest to erase. Um, so wherever you have uh, material or if you have baby hair or anything like that, you're going to want to pick a color that's close to that area so that it's easier when you start erasing. Uh, so I'm going to click on right about there, and I'm going to go down here, I'm actually going to create a duplicate layer first. Uh, then I'm going to go down here and I am going to do my gradient, so I'm going to click on gradient, and it's going to come up here and I'm just going to go to a negative 90 to bring it from the top, and then I'm just going to drag it down, I kind of want to cover this spot where I have some shadow, so I'm going to drag it down to right about there. And once I've done that, I'm going to come over and click on this white part. And with a black brush at 50%, I'm going to start erasing it where I don't want it. So I'm just staying kind of on baby. Now this is why it's important to click on a spot that's close to um, where you're going to erase. That way it makes it easier when you start erasing. So up here where my blanket's in and out, I'm erasing and it's not really mattering because I picked the color close to that. Uh, if I would picked a color that was maybe darker whenever I did the gradient, it, it's going to show kind of that halo look that's around it. So that's why you always want to pick a color that's close to there. All right, so once I've gotten it about 50, I'm going to take it up to 100. And then I'm just going to go, because I still want the shadow showing. So I'm going around with a big soft brush. If you notice, my brush is really soft. That way I still pick up some of that shadow area around baby because we don't want her to look like she was just copy and pasted into a solid background. All right, and then if I have any places where I want to add it back on, I'm going to change my brush to white and just kind of brush it back in gently. And that is a pretty easy, quick and easy um, blanket fade tutorial. So you can see where we started. And then with a little bit of Photoshop magic, this is where we're ending.